Weedy sea dragons are among the ocean's most unusual creatures. They're endemic to Australia, but scientists fear they could be dying out in some areas and may become endangered. Biologists are using the marine equivalent of facial recognition software to track the animals off the coasts of New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania. Just 15 kilometres from the centre of Sydney in Kurnell, strange and beautiful creatures live amongst the kelp, but their habitat appears to be thinning out and their numbers are down. This is the best site in Sydney, so you can still see them here reliably. Other sites, particularly on the north side of Sydney, where they used to be a common occurrence, now you're lucky to find one and, and sometimes you find none. Citizen scientists are photographing the sea dragons and using pattern recognition software to identify individual fish. The software program allows us to map out uh, the markings on the side of a weedy sea dragon and it becomes a unique fingerprint for the, for the weedies. Marine biologists are looking at results across three states. They say the photos are important because they provide a snapshot of local populations without the need to tag the animals. And it will tell us if it's David or Greg or Alicia, whichever, because every single new sea dragon we have gets a name, so we can follow it over the years. Weedy sea dragons are classified as near-threatened, but there isn't enough information to determine if the species is in peril. Scientists say this research could boost the case to have them listed as endangered. They fear rising ocean temperatures are killing the kelp, and that could render the weedies homeless. Climate change driving warmer waters further south, I think the Sydney populations could come under threat through, directly through climate change. This is Baron Joey Head, Sydney's northernmost point, and these waters are known as Dragon Alley. The problem is there have been so few sightings in recent years, there are concerns they may have gone for good. Once they're gone, they're gone. Once we lose them, we will never get them back. They were here many, many thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago. With our impact, losing them would be really sad. The first results from this study should be available in October. Scientists are asking divers to send in their photos to help monitor the health of this unique Australian species. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.